Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy MG Nas, and I'm back again with another Eagles video. And today, uh, we got some breaking news today. Um, we re-signed Jason Peters, and I knew. Um, I said in my last Mukmang video, make sure I go watch that. That's why I'm a day late with this video. I knew Jason Peters. I I, I had that feeling, and I said in my last video when that guy made the tweet. I forgot what his name was specifically. When he made the tweet. I had a bad feeling that Jason Peters would get re-signed. Um, I mean, look, is I think it's what six mil, three million guarantee. I mean, it's not a horrible deal, but how do you, if you're Andre Dillard, how do you feel about this? How do you kind of, you know, like how 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 do you feel? It's like how do you feel? Do you like? Do you feel good because you learned under a veteran, one of the greatest under a year or for a year? Or do you are you like mad because you wanted your opportunity this year and you wanted to go out there and do it? So um, I don't know. I mean, like I said, I don't hate the deal. I just hate like every time. This is just what I don't like. When people make when these media people make tweets and say, I have big news for this team coming up. Um, this team is doing this or is working on this, this, that, or this team might sign a big player this week. And it's just, it's not even that big. That's why I said in my last video, I'm not going to get my hopes up high because I know, I know firsthand as an Eagles fan, you know, everybody claim Eagles fans say they want everybody. The Eagles are always interested in every big free agent. I already know that the Eagles, we don't really go after the big free agent. We every time there's interest in them, or if people say we're interested, they never go after the big free agent. And man, I mean, like I said, I don't hate the Jason Peters signing. I don't dislike it. I mean, his pr main problem last year was those false starts. Those false starts put us in a lot of holes to start off the drive, first and fifteens and stuff. That was my only issue with him. My issue was never uh his play or him giving up sex my main issue always with jason peters was that he he just those false starts and and the age is getting up to him i think he's like 37 38 something like that so like i said i don't hate the deal i don't love it um so clowny I think can we? I think we can all agree that the clowny thing that that's not probably not going to happen anymore unless it happens in the next couple of days. I don't think that's going to happen because, like I like we said, the guy who made the tweet literally hyped this whole thing up, and he did say by the middle of this week, and it's Tuesday that this is happening. It's uploaded on Wednesday. Like I said, I'm a day behind. My bad. But, dude, like, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just tired of media reporters saying the Eagles are interested in this guy. We get hyped up as fans, and they just keep, it, it's not even that good of a signing. Like, like I said, the last time we got hyped up for a big free agent or a big uh, guy on a trade block was Darius Slay. Yeah, we actually got Darius Slay, but still, it was like, I mean... Like it, it it gets annoying when when you just hype up this big news is gonna drop and it's not even that big. Just like uh, another reporter during free agency said, Odell Beckham, um, the the Browns are looking to trade Odell Beckham. He should he's actually gonna be in trade talks about tonight, and Odell could be shipped out. If y'all remember during free agency, it was the media guy who said that when the Browns came out and said, "Oh no, uh, we Odell, we're keeping him this year." You know, he's our guy and all that stuff. So, I just, for now on out, I'm only going to listen. I'm I'm just, I'm not going to listen to any reports or anything. I'm just going to wait to see what Schefter says. I want to wait to see what Adam Schefter says. And that's all I'm going to do, man. Because you can't believe the media. You can't believe all these guys who just keep hyping up stuff. And... You just, you just can't keep believing it, man. And I, I had to learn it myself. So that's basically the breaking news. We re-signed Jason Peters. He's going to be our starting left tackle. We still need that right guard position. We still need that right guard position. Um, 
I mean, kind of what y'all think about it. I just think, I just think, like I said, I don't hate the signing. That's not what I'm mad about. I'm just mad about how you hyped it up. And I said, I, and he said he has big news. Like I said, I'm not, I'm just going to, I'm not going to listen to anybody in the media, but Adam Schefter. And that's basically it, man. Um, let me know what y'all think about the signing. Like I said, we still need a right guard. All Eagles fans, we still need a right guard. And we still need that backup running back. We never forgot that. We never forgot about that RB2 position. And I, and like I said, go watch my video from a couple, like a month or two ago about Devontae Freeman. We need we need that second running back to help out Miles Sanders. Yes, Boston Scott had a few good games. But we need that running back number two to help out Miles Sanders. So... We still need a couple positions. I don't think the Eagles off season is done off season is done as far as signing and potentially trading for players. I think we still got a couple of signings. I just don't think they're gonna be big signings. That's just my opinion. Like I said, I'm not believing the media anymore. Um make sure I like the video, comment, and subscribe. Make sure I go watch my last video, which is the mukbang. Um make sure I turn on the notification bell. And let me know what y'all think about this. You know, we got the little football background. Um, I have one for basketball, too, so we got a basketball video coming out soon, so make sure y'all stay tuned for that, and I'm out. Peace.